Ever felt a deep connection to the energies around you? Wondering if you might be more than just a bystander in this cosmos? In this video, we'll reveal the subtle signs that could indicate you possess the extraordinary gift of being a spiritual healer. Dolores Cannon said, We're all volunteers. We're all here because we want to be. And we're all here because we have a mission. For spiritual healers, you have an extraordinary gift, so your mission may be to heal others. From empathic sensitivity to a profound connection with nature, each sign is a clue leading you deeper into the understanding of your unique role in the universe. By clicking on this video, the universe might be sending you a message. So, open your hearts, sharpen your intuition, and let's explore the 10 clear signs you are a spiritual healer. If you've been through tough times, like really hard stuff, you might just have a superpower, being a healer. It's not just about a broken heart, we're talking heavy stuff, near-death scares, tough times, and even things like abuse. These experiences aren't fun, but they can turn you into a healer. Here's the deal, going through these hard things can make you crazy strong and super wise. It's like you level up in life. Imagine a video game where you face tough challenges, and each time you beat one, you get stronger. That's you after surviving these situations. And get this, even when life gets really, really rough, you stay hopeful. It's like having a secret weapon. You might not have a clear reason to be hopeful, but you just are. It's this inner strength that helps you help others. You understand their struggles because you've been there. Think of it like this. Going through hard times is like superhero training for healers. You learn about yourself, become crazy empathetic, and get a sneak peek into the energy world. It's like turning your pain into power. And if you ever need a boost, chatting with another healer can help clear away any leftover negative vibes. So, surviving difficult situations. That's your sign saying you're on your way to being an amazing healer. Embarking on a journey through the shadows, facing a dark night of the soul, could be a sign that you're more than just a traveler in this world. You might be a healer, a seer, an archetype of the shaman. The shamanic path, deeply rooted in tradition, often involves a transformative ordeal, a dance with life's most challenging moments. When life takes you to the brink, confronting trauma or a soul-shaking experience, it can be a pivotal moment. The shamanic archetype recognizes that those who have walked through the abyss return with more than scars. They carry a profound shift in perspective. Trauma, in its harrowing grip, can momentarily disconnect us from the body, opening the door to unseen energies and realms. It's as if the boundaries of the self become more permeable, making one sensitive to the subtle energies that weave through existence. Near-death experiences, too, can be a bridge to the spirit realm, expanding perception upon the return to life. So, if you've weathered the storm of a dark night of the soul and emerged with heightened sensitivity and a broader understanding of life, you might embody the essence of a shaman. In the tapestry of healers and seers, your unique journey becomes a guiding light for others navigating their own shadows. Ever feel like big crowds and noisy places zap your energy? Well, if you're a healer, you're not alone. Hanging out in bustling places can be like an energy roller coaster for you. Imagine as if you're in a crowded spot and suddenly it feels like you've absorbed everyone's vibration. That's because, as a healer, you're like an energy sponge. In places with lots of people, it's like getting bombarded with all sorts of feelings, some happy, some not so much. Now, here's the thing. Large crowds might leave you feeling not just tired, but overwhelmed. It's like your energy is being pulled in a million directions. And when that happens, you can start feeling off kilter, like your energy shield is taking hits. Maybe you've noticed you feel quite sick or drained after going to the grocery store or a concert. That's your healer mode, sensing all the different vibes around. It's not a sign of weakness, it's a superpower. 
So if you need a breather after a crowded day, that's okay. Your home's quiet comfort is like a recharge station for your amazing healing energy. If you find yourself happiest surrounded by trees, mountains, or the soothing sounds of the sea, congratulations. You might just be a natural born healer. Nature is like your second home, a place where you feel completely at peace. Think about it. The openness of a field, the majestic view of a mountain, or the calming waves of the sea. These are your go-to spots. Nature isn't just scenery for you, it's like a friend. You sense the energy in the trees, mountains, and water, just like they have their own healing vibes, much like you do. Being a healer, you're super sensitive, and nature is your secret weapon. When life feels a bit too much, a walk in the woods or a moment by the ocean recharges your superpowers. It's like nature being a living thing sends out this incredible healing energy and when you're there, you soak it all in. So, if you dream of a home with an open field view facing a mountain or the sea away from the hustle and bustle, you're not just daydreaming, you're tuning into your healer instincts finding strength in the beauty of the great outdoors. Being super sensitive isn't just a personality trait. It might be a sign that you're a natural born healer. You're like an emotional detective, picking up on things that others might miss. Whether it's hearing, seeing, smelling, or feeling, you're tuned in to a different frequency. You're not just good at recognizing your own emotions, you can sense what others are feeling too. It's like having a radar for emotions, knowing if someone is happy, sad, or needs a helping hand. You're the one who can say, I'm here for you until you're strong enough, or you'll be okay, you're stronger than you know, because you can see the strength in others. In the world of healing, they call this being an empath. It's not just about feeling your own feelings. You're like a sponge for other people's emotions and even their physical struggles. This sensitivity isn't a weakness. It's a superpower. It's what helps you connect with others on a deep level and guides you in knowing who needs your healing touch. So if you find yourself feeling a lot and understanding even more, you might just be on the healer's path. Being a healer, means your positivity isn't just a mood lifter, it's a transformative force. Everyone around you senses it, even in tough times. The air changes when you're present. You're like a beacon of light that brightens even the gloomiest room. Your energy has a magical touch. After being with you, people feel lighter, shedding the weight of their troubles. Your gift extends beyond words. Your mere presence soothes and heals. You might not notice it, but others do. Your energy helps them release dense emotions, creating a sense of relief. Your wisdom is a source of healing too. People find comfort in your words, like you always know just what to say. People are drawn to you because in your presence, their burdens seem to vanish. Your pure and healing energy acts as a distraction from life's negativity, helping them elevate their spirits. If you're curious about consciously enhancing your healing abilities, Consider connecting with an experienced healer. Guided by someone with expertise, you can learn safe techniques and navigate the path of conscious healing. Being a strong dreamer is like having a special ticket to the unseen realms, where healing for the soul and mind unfolds. Dreams act as a portal, taking you on nightly adventures in the astral planes around our planet. These astral planes are a bit like a halfway point between the spiritual and the physical, a place where dreams become real events. If you find your dreams are vivid and lively, if you often share your nightly escapades with those close to you, and if you've encountered departed loved ones or spirit beings in your dreams, you're showing signs of being a strong dreamer. Maybe you've even received messages in your dreams that guided you in waking life or your dreams have offered glimpses into the future. Being a strong dreamer isn't just about a good night's sleep, it's a connection to the spirit realm. 
Your dreams become a pathway to spirit, a source of healing, and a way to bring back insights that not only benefit you, but can also be a source of healing for others. So if your dreams are more than just stories that play out during the night, consider it another sign that you're a natural-born healer. If you can't stand seeing others in pain and you have an undeniable urge to help, you might just be a natural-born healer. This compassionate trait is often found in those with innate healing gifts on a soul level. However, it's crucial to navigate this strong desire to assist others wisely. Sometimes this drive to help can lead to challenges, such as prioritizing others' needs over your own or falling into patterns of codependency in relationships. Natural-born healers may find themselves in situations where they consistently put their needs aside to aid others in their struggles. It's essential to channel your healing gift appropriately, perhaps in a professional setting where your efforts are recognized. Bringing this desire to heal into personal relationships can sometimes create imbalances that aren't sustainable. If strangers often open up to you about their personal lives unexpectedly, it's a clear indication of your healing energy. People subconsciously sense your safe and comforting aura, making them feel drawn to share their emotions with you. While this is flattering, it's important to set boundaries to avoid constantly depleting your energy. Remember, your healing energy has the power to attract those in need, like broken birds seeking solace. Balancing the art of helping others while preserving your own energy requires understanding when and how to establish healthy boundaries. As a healer, you possess a unique ability to perceive and comprehend the subtle energy that surrounds you. This energy can manifest in various forms, but you are most likely to observe it when you are in the presence of other individuals. For instance, when you walk into a room, you can instantly sense the energy that permeates the space without any context. Moreover, you possess a heightened sensitivity towards the energetic shifts that occur within people, animals and places. This is because as a healer, you are exceptionally empathetic. You tend to absorb the emotions and feelings of others to an extent that it can be challenging to distinguish them from your own. For example, if you spend time with someone who is feeling sad, you may start to experience those same emotions yourself. However, this aspect of being a sensitive healer can also present significant challenges. Because you are so attuned to the feelings of others, you may feel a strong sense of responsibility to make them feel better. This can lead to people-pleasing tendencies and a heightened need for validation and approval from those around you. As a result, you may feel extra pressure to conform to other people's expectations and make them like you, which can be exhausting and emotionally draining. As a healer, it is natural to require a lot of time alone. However, this can sometimes lead to long periods of isolation, which may not always be easy to deal with. Nevertheless, it is essential to recognize that time spent alone is an integral and sacred part of being a healer. It is during this time that you are regenerating your energy, allowing you to continue functioning in the world. This is especially true if your job requires you to spend a lot of time around other people, or if you are often out and about. Being around others can be draining because you have an invisible antenna that is continuously picking up on their frequencies. Always feeling the energy of others can get exhausting, and it is crucial to take some time to recharge your batteries. Spending time alone also allows you to reconnect with your inner guidance. When you're in tune with your inner compass, you feel more in control of your day-to-day -day life. Being in this energy will help you know what to avoid and when to withdraw your energy. It will also help you to be more present in your interactions with others as you will have a better sense of boundaries and how to maintain your own energy while also being present for others. Ultimately, taking the time to be alone and recharge is an investment in yourself and your ability to be of service to others.
This video was inspired by the incredible Dolores Cannon, whose work has left a massive positive light in the spiritual community. If you enjoyed this video, do let me know in the comments and leave a like to show your appreciation. As we conclude this enlightening journey, remember, these signs are guideposts, not definitive labels. Embrace the whispers of your soul, and if you resonate with the traits we've explored today, know that you are part of a profound cosmic lineage. Don't forget to like this video if it resonated with you, subscribe to our channel for more spiritual insights, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our cosmic explorations.